Here goes. All right, guys. So we're going to do a real quick reading. It is a Celtic cross. And so this is a general timeless, you know, always feel free to swap those rules. You know, if it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. And um, we'll see what we have coming in. This is either avoiding a conflict and drama, or if there is, you know, like something that incites change, that argument that oftentimes leads to change, it's kind of finding compromise or a peaceful resolution in a way. I do think that being that it's the situation, there could even be others involved in something that you've got going on, like competition, competing views, you know, opposing factors. Um, someone could be coming back. You know, obviously the Eight of Cups does represent that. And so, you know, it just depends on who or what, you know, obviously a situation could come back around. Um, you may have dealt with a person or situation in the past, you know, obviously somebody who decided to leave. And even if it was you who decided to go off and, you know, there's got to be more to a situation, you know, than what life is presenting. So it's like whatever during that time frame um, somebody left. You know, you or they, you know, it does feel like somebody comes back. And it also is the Seven of Cups and the reverse tells me about coming down to reality is like something becoming a reality. It's not the fantasy. It's not the wish. It's not the idea anymore. It's, you know, coming to reality. And so, you know, taking certain options off the table, but the Page of Wands does suggest that there could be a lot of restless energy here, you know, on a subconscious level. Consciously, it's like even, you know, well, what are the options? You know, obviously someone might even feel like they have limited options in a way, but, you know, I do think that this does reflect a lot of this kind of coming through with if you've been dealing with a person um, who could even be, you know, kind of a little fickle one way or the other and a little hot headed or perhaps impulsive, you know, young definitely comes through but you know maturity level doesn't have to have anything to do with age but i also get the impression that somebody's lowering their defenses and there's finding a solution or a way around or out of something where there was maybe some adversity um finger pointing and blame game could have been the case at one time as well but i feel like maybe you or someone to you you know is either said or done something it's like a person who's not feeling quite themselves and so obviously it's not you know as open to giving or receiving and having really strong established boundaries but just consider too someone might also be really set in their ways too you know obviously but i feel like there's somebody who's not feeling quite themselves but somebody comes back around you get to hear the other half of the story you know they're going to tell you something that you didn't maybe know before and even if you did kind of have a you know a feel or a vibe off of it you know it's like there's got to be more to it than this you know you learn the other half of that truth and so somebody could be making a confession you know, if there were embarrassing secrets that, you know, obviously, you know, could be discussed. And then, of course, you know, you kind of get this impression with the uh, King of Wands in the reverse. You know, obviously, it's a person. It's coming in external. And it could help describe who a person is to you. Um, whether it's someone who's got a lot of fire in their, you know, chart somewhere. Or perhaps it is someone who maybe just needs a little bit of confidence. They're not feeling quite themselves either. Um, they might not be as, you know you know, like kind of like the confidence to take charge or take action because they may not know how you feel. But the challenge is coming through with the strength in the reverse, which could just mean, you know, somebody doing something afraid, but there could have been like somebody letting their pride and ego get in the way. But I do see a new beginning, a new offer, and it could be something to do with money or um, even like if you have services that get exchanged, you know, you have someone do a job for you even, you know, it's just kind of odd, you know, when you see a pinnacle, it's not necessarily always a love thing. It could be a job thing. Um, this could be even just something real practical for you for the long term, you know, somebody who wants to invest, you know, they see your value and they want to invest in that, you know, whether or not you choose to reciprocate it in one way or the other depends on who or what the situation is. But I do want to look at your energy a little bit more. You have this star coming up and what's of your highest good playing itself out and divine timing, you know, faith and hope and healing. And you also have this Ten of Cups, you know, the happily ever after and this desire for whether you're in this space or you're wanting this, you know, whether it's with a partner or your career and that lifestyle that you produce for your family, you know, so it just, you know, to me, it feels like there's been, you know, a wait and try again energy. Um, there's been an awakening. And I also feel like, you know, you kind of hold the key to making, you know, whichever choice is yours to kind of if there's been an in-between phase or stage, um, I definitely get the impression you've made some sacrifices along the way. And so if there is anything now where perspective comes to play, you know, out with the old in with the new would be like anything that didn't work. It's focusing on what does the other um, situation for external, which could be the other person, 
you know, it has a magician energy. So definitely kind of, there might be more going on than what meets the eye. Um, I don't necessarily get the impression that anybody's a bad person at all. I just get the impression somebody is trying to manifest, you know, maybe even just a conversation or come up with certain resources or has an idea, you know, obviously. But this is kind of where the high priestess and the reverse suggests a secret coming out, you know. So it's like you learn how they did that trick or, you know, learn how they, you know, got away with something if they did something you didn't want them to do. But I just feel like somebody's coming in with, you know, obviously a secret to be told. Um, if there is any drama, you know, where you get your information or they do, I would just be discerning, you know, obviously, because there's a lot of hidden energy here on the external and there's a lot more going on than what meets the eye. So even if somebody comes back to tell you the other half of the story, um, or how they feel or whatever else is going on here, it's like, there's still more. And so this has kind of got a cyclical energy to like a pattern. But I also feel like, you know, the vagueness, you know, obviously someone might just drop some hints, you know, but I do feel intuition is going to be important to follow and not doubt the intuitive process. Um, the challenge is, you know, this new beginning, whether you've already started something physically or if it's still yet to be presented or you have more than one option to consider, you know, there's desire here and attraction, but, you know, obviously there could be a distraction. Um, if you've learned certain lessons, it's about not repeating them, but remember if it's about, you know, your job, your career, there could be changes there. And also, I do feel like, you know, if there's anything to do with, it can't be all work, no play. You know, sometimes I do feel like, you know, making time, quality time is more important. Injustice does come up as kind of like having a fair outcome and integrity. So ask yourself, does it or does it not align with your morals and, you know, your value system? But truth, you know, obviously, and some truth comes out, you know, and that's part of a challenge too, you know, and you might have a truth and they do. But I think that as to your outcome, you know, this could be, again, transforming even a negative situation, or perhaps this is, you know, really about transformation in general, when you see the death and the rebirth, putting something to rest, but, you know, changing the circumstances, but it is a process. And so very spiritual in nature, but you are overcoming some type of a challenge that may have become a burden and it's no longer your burden to carry. And if you have been carrying the weight of the world around on your shoulders or carrying the burden of a truth or carrying the burden of whatever. And again, from whomever's perspective, um, sometimes two people come together and help each other out. So you don't have to carry that, you know, like if you're a single person and it's so like, you know, in today's world, it almost takes two, you know, to make the world go around. But I just feel like you're overcoming something that was an obligation or responsibility and it's not yours to carry just alone anymore. And this is kind of like, again, somebody returning, you know, so someone, something, you know, obviously, and I do feel like you might not necessarily make it official, you know, you might kind of keep it, you know, to yourself for a while, but I do get the impression with seizing the moment or the opportunity, even if it's just a conversation, um, if there are, you know, opportunities here, you know, you might be missing out on certain opportunities of the past. And now it's time to really recognize you know, kind of what's right in front of you as to like this chance. Um, maybe there's other, you know, things because definitely we have a pentacle and a fire, a wand energy coming through. And um, I think that you have more than one situation to consider in some cases, but it is suggesting the fates. It's kind of 1717 might be relevant to some of you. And also the fates is what is the highest good. So I do feel like divine timing is here and then coming to the edge is a leap of faith. But, you know, getting away from the crowd, for example, and the why does reflect, you know, why now or even why does anything happen? But, you know, people experience their own journeys in life and, you know, they have their own experiences that they have to, you know, kind of go through to get to a space. And so do you, you know, and so there's a lot of these spiritual lessons and I feel like, you know, the lessons being learned and, you know, you want to make sure that if there's anybody or anything coming back that, you know, everybody's kind of in a good space you know, should you choose to, you know, reconcile, because you could have some soulmate vibe coming through, but you are going to get the message in a bottle, which could be a phone call, text, you know, something in the mail, a gift, you know, something like that. I feel like somebody's, you know, sitting by the phone, deciding whether or not to pick up the phone or, you know, whether it's coming or going, you know, sometimes it's like waiting for the call or other times it's like, do you want to answer the call? You know, if you see someone particularly is calling. But I do feel self-care, you know, whether it's already happened or it's ongoing, you know, is so important. And also, you know, taking the next step now, 
would be again if somebody's feeling frustrated or has a little bit of a block or is you know needing the confidence to take that step or just even growing restless in some way but body changes you know we all change over time you know we get older and you know obviously by the day and of course you know working out would build more muscle or you know a pregnancy would change the body i mean this is a metamorphosis and that reminds me a lot of the death and rebirth in a way because it's coming out of that cocoon you know this beautiful butterfly kind of a vibe so i do feel like moving could be a concept but that might be just the next step you know moving in a you know good direction but if anybody's considering you know making a move or actually moving you know where you live where you work you know all of that you know can be here too and someone might just have news of you know hey you know who knows maybe they're moving next door or they're moving out of the you know state or the town um whatever direction it's going moving is the concept here but that's what's going to create you know the change so seven of cups comes in and it was here earlier kind of what's on the conscious mind if anybody felt like they were out of options now there's a lot of options you know if there were limited options now there's a lot of things to consider and so it's a complex decision so the need to do some research and not procrastinate one way or the other could go either direction in the five of earth is somebody who may just have fears surrounding the resources the economy um, money you know it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's going through a hard time but if there is a hardship you know it's very temporary Sometimes people who go through like divorces or, you know, people who share resources in part ways, you know, oftentimes, you know, there are two people who, you know, share a similar, you know, kind of um, energy when it comes to the money or, you know, possessions, belongings and things. So it can be the wisdom to accept help from others. You know, obviously um, it's uncertain times, you know, so like I said, the economy is a little bit tight right now. And so it's like what we need versus what we want sometimes. But you do have a decision and maybe they do, too. Someone could be in denial or denying something, you know, unable or unwilling to make a decision. You know, obviously that's still a choice, but if anything's grown to a stillmate, wait and try again, you know, practice a pause if necessary. But if anybody's pretending that there is no problem, it's like brushing it under the rug. And that could be, you know, even if somebody comes back and acts like nothing ever happened, but the wheel is fate, fortune, and destiny. It's a very good positive vibe. And I do feel that this, you know, has a lot to do with change. And this is positive change. And there is a situation that's suddenly going to move forward. You know, and fortune is on your side. So good fortune. But the moon is here again. So it does suggest that somebody was caught up in a possible illusion. Impossible illusion. So remember the magician, the moon, the high priestess, all of that. But you're going to learn something about this. There's still more going on than what meets the eye. And it's like many things are still not what they seem or appear to be. But there is going to be a new understanding of someone, you know, why somebody does what they do, you know, for that example. This does suggest that there could be a woman who soon will invite you to her home and will bring you good luck. And you're going to be happier than you dared to hope. It's like having a ten of cups. You know, so you have a few trustworthy friends, but maybe one unexpected enemy and success is in store for you. So, you know, obviously you have a number three. It's um, Empress Energy, a 066. This is a no. It depends on what the question is. Sometimes no is a really good answer. All right, guys. And then coming through with the Zoltar, we are looking here. It looks like, you know, somebody, you know, shaking hands, you know, meeting people. There's a group. <clears throat> it says, show me your friends and I will show you your future. Friendship is a mirror reflecting the path ahead. And look closely at those who walk beside you for their influence shapes your destiny. Choose companions who inspire, uplift, and challenge you to become the best version of yourself. And in their company, you'll find the roadmap to a future illuminated by shared aspirations and shared growth. This is a number 2, 15, 30, 40, uh, 48, 65, and 79. All right, guys. So let's see what else we've got. And then we'll see what's on the bottom of these decks. Okay, so this is Dearest You. So we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everything um, that is or in everyone and make things right. So I like that because justice was here, even though it was in the challenge. It's about, you know, the unfair situation or whatever. Even if someone was being unfair, sometimes life is unfair, but it is. It's never too late. So forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one of which you may have been the victim of someone else's actions. So you don't need to carry this around and you can set yourself free. So it is putting that down, that burden is being placed down, you know, obviously you're overcoming it. 
Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done, but it is about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others, and this is the opposite of what you really desire. So imagine what life would be like without the burdens that are being carried when you do not forgive. So it's kind of like clearing up a karmic debt. You know, there's karmic retribution here. So if somebody's done you wrong, they get their karma even, you know. So I do feel like if you are the victim of anything, it could be big or small. But it does say here, dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspirations might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you that we are always whispering in your ear about the highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know that you are living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. And when you're feeling inspired, it means you hurt us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. And inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving and whatever inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on earth. That's your why. And your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. So I want to point out 1717 was the star energy and it's the fates in, you know, this particular deck. On the bottom of this deck, it does say it's the seven of cups again, which is confusion, you know, obviously, but it's the fantasy card. So there's a lot of ideas and, you know, picking a path. And so you got to prioritize sometimes what's most important, you know, so it's where there was confusion and plans in the past, but there is a choice between good and better. But there will be reconnection to earth foundations coming through for you as well at the end you know it's like making that choice this one says that you have or will receive money soon and again you did have an ace of pentacles so be very kind when you meet your newest friend a change in the life of a true friend and you are continually in someone's thoughts this is another yes well this one is a yes it's an eight and a nine two two and on the bottom of this deck it suggests here says you're um are you tired are you weary does life feel drab and dreary despair not my friend i see happiness around the bend say farewell to those blues that have been being nursed and get in the habit of looking for the to the brighter side of life and you um you know maybe you have a temperamental nature maybe they do someone could lose their temper easily and regret it just as fast but you have brilliant mind and enjoy reading and the fine arts your friends appreciate your intelligence and like to come to you with their problems, and you have a very sympathetic nature. Now, this is where it kind of takes a little twist. So it says, okay. there's a dark-haired person who is trying to harm you, who will soon disappear from your life, and you will be extremely happy. So it's almost like, okay, the ending of that cycle, the ending of, like, whatever, again, this could be a coworker, a friend, family, it might be something, you know, like, an enemy even, but whatever, whoever it is, the dark-haired person, you know, it's like not having to deal with it. It's the death and the rebirth, something changing, something ending. So it is a number eight. Let's see, we have six, eight, 29, 40, 46, and 48 with that, um, with that there. So you guys, I do want to wish you the best with this. It's 1041 on my clock. Check on yours. And um, today is Tuesday. So good luck with this and take care. Bye-bye.